Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of The Lady or the Tiger written by Frank R. Stockton. Come, let's go to the summary. Frank R. Stockton is actually an American writer and he wrote this story in 1882 and it was first published in the magazine The Century. And this title, The Lady or the Tiger, has now become an American lexicon itself. That is, suppose in case if you have a problem and if you have two solutions for it and if both the solutions are not good, it is not going to give you any benefit. It is only going to endanger you more means they will always say the lady or the tiger. So, when you say the lady or the tiger, you will understand that whatever is the solution, it is not a good solution. Now, this story, it begins with the reign of a king who has a semi-barbaric way of ruling the kingdom. And he is a little bit of eccentric. Like suppose in case if anyone commits a crime and they are brought as an accused to him, what he will do is, he will put them in a public arena and call all the people. And he will be seated on the royal uh, chair with all the other people around. And this accused will be put in the public arena. And there will be two doors in front of him. Behind one door, there will be a beautiful woman. If the accused is going to open that door, then it is understood that this man is innocent. Whether he has really committed the crime or not, if he opens the door and if the beautiful, beautiful woman is there means... It is accepted that he is innocent and his marriage will be held there as a public ceremony. And even if the man is already married and has wife and children also, he is eligible to marry this woman. At the same time, behind the other door, there will be a hungry lion, which is, I mean sorry, a hungry tiger, which is also very ferocious. And if this man opens that door, that hungry tiger will just devour him and it is taken for granted that the man is guilty whether he has committed the sin or not whether the crime or not it is accepted that he is guilty and the king liked this judgment because it gave him immediate results and so he was carrying this on and this king happened to have a beautiful young doctor and this daughter falls in love with a young man of a lower class and both of them were having an affair for months until the king came to know about it the king immediately ordered the man to come for the trial and the date also was set for the trial. And the king this time took real care to search for a very ferocious tiger and also for the most beautiful young maiden because he was very very happy, he was very sure either way he will make his daughter not to marry that man. That is either he will get married to the most beautiful woman and he will go off or he will be killed by the tiger. And when the day of the trial came, everyone around, they came to see. In fact, there was so much of crowd that they were even trying to occupy the arena walls just to know what is happening. And the king on that day, he came with his uh, coat and he took his place in the front and center. And even the princess came there. And this princess, ever since her lover was caught for the trial, she had used her power, her influence and she had lots of money. And she had searched in the whole kingdom. And now she knows the secret of the doors. That is she knows behind which door the lady is there. And behind which door the tiger is there. And her lover was very sure that she will save him. So on that day he comes and he bows before the king. But his eye is only looking at the princess for her to give her the sign. And she also gives him a signal. But to which door did she send him to? That is the question. Because the writer stops here. That is the lover will go and open the door. But what is behind the door does not uh, is not written. He does not reveal it. Up. And so did she send him to the door where the beautiful woman was there so that he will get married to another woman. Or whether she sent him to the tiger where he will have a death. And thereby he will be... he. He will be her lover, but he will not be able to marry anyone else. So, the readers will never know this. Uh, actually, Stockton uh, wrote a uh, very unconventional sequel to this uh, named uh, The Discourager of Hesitancy. And uh, even that story he has left with an, without answering the question. 
uh, this is a beautiful way of writing a story where it keeps uh, readers uh, thinking uh, what would have happened and their own imagination would lead to the end of the story i hope you like the video share it with your friends and if you not subscribe my channel please subscribe and while subscribing don't forget to press the bell button only then you will get the notification of all my videos as soon as i post them thank you